Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. We're in beautiful downtown San Carlos. I'm at the, what they call Center Mall, which is nothing but soccer fields and so forth. And Grace is doing her business. She's doing the pharmacy run and the grocery run and things of that nature. And I was going to go have uh, a little work done to our van. I got some brake noise and I ordered new uh, caliper pins and noise counselors. And also, I got two brand new rear wheel cylinders. And uh, I went to the shop I normally do. Yeah, I'm pausing because I don't want to be, be angry at I go to the shop. I've never been refused work there before. But they told me they couldn't install those parts because they didn't sell them. Well, the funny thing is, the last time I was there, I wanted those parts. And there's no stock nowhere in San Carlos. And there's still no stock in San Carlos for those particular parts. I politely said, that's okay. I don't have to return to it. And besides, since they don't want to install parts that you bring, uh, I'm not paying three or four times the price because when they aren't available here in San Carlos, they are expensive. Example, stabilizer links. I can buy a pair of them delivered for a thousand pesos. And they are original equipment. I stopped one day to get a pair at the local parts store. And I was shocked. 3,800 pesos. Over three times, almost four times price. I'm not paying not when I get what I want from, to be honest with you, from Cebu. Not, not from overseas or anything, from Cebu. If they can make money at 1,000 pesos shipped, how much are they making here? I don't care. I would have paid a little more, maybe even double, but that's about the limit. I enjoy doing business local, but when it gets extreme, I don't do it. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't argue with them. I didn't put up a fight. I just politely said, you know, you got one less customer. I won't be back. Fortunately, I do have a recourse. I've got a local mechanic I can take it to and get it done. The only reason I wanted to do it there is because they got a lift and I wanted to walk underneath my van personally and look at things to see if there's anything necessary. That's the only reason I was going there to begin with. And they had one particular mechanic that I actually liked. He was very thorough, and he done exactly as I wanted. Which is hard to find here in the Philippines. If you've not been here and you plan on coming here, that's something that uh, that's difficult. To find one that'll listen to you and do what you want. So I'm down to one mechanic now. I'm about to see if I can find another, one, which I think I can. I think there's another one available. do that the next trip to San Carlos I'll ask but anyway I'm just disappointed I guess I'm not angry I'm just disappointed I could understand if they kept parts on hand but they had to run out and buy the parts and they're marking them up on top of it so if Say so if I want to stabilize the linker, it's hard to tell what they charge me. So, 
unreal. So, because they don't keep parts on hand. Now, if they kept parts on hand, I could understand it. But they got to run out and buy parts. And which takes time. If you pull in and you need a set of brake pads, they have to go to the local parts supplier. That reminds me, the first set of pads I had put on this van that broke into pieces after about a year, I give 2,800 pesos for it. And the original equipment replacement I got from Sabu was only 750 pesos. <coughs> Big difference. But I've been looking for these uh, caliper pins for a long time. I finally found them in uh, Manila, outside of Manila. There's a guy that has one of these vans and he actually got into selling parts for them. I hadn't bought parts from him before. So I ordered uh, the caliper pins and the noise counselors, uh, which are missing on mine. Uh, I don't know when, why they're missing. They wouldn't earn one on the first brake job. Maybe when their vehicle was assembled, they had it apart for some reason or another. And they just decided they wasn't necessary. But, uh, I just want to get rid of the rattle. The noise is disturbing to me. Anyway, folks, that's my rant. <laughs> and I really appreciate you watching. Uh, please subscribe.